How to create a newsletter in Beehive. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create your own newsletter using Beehive. And what you want to do is to first log in, sign in, and you will want to go into maybe start a free trial or pay. You then want to um, start a new writing. And what uh, I'm going to teach today, afterwards you will, you can uh, save it as a template and you can use it afterwards again. So it's very useful. So you want to start a new writing. After you have linked it on the right hand side, you can also select to choose whether or not you want to open, like let the other people to open the link in a new tab or not. Next, you want to go into the three dots shown here and go into theme settings and you will be brought to a page like this. So on the right hand side is the sample of how it will look the contents will be the content that you type in but the sample will be on the right you can see the uh, the headings the columns the images and on the left side will be the settings and when you set those settings change those settings you can uh, scroll on the right side to the corresponding one and see how it changes so for me i'm gonna first change the background color I will change both the outside background and post background to be a shade of off-white. Off I will then go into uh, spacing, on also in background, go into spacing and change the margin into 25 pixels. I will then go to body text. These All these things you can customize it yourself. I'm just doing it in the way that I want. And obviously you can go onto the right and see if you like it. If you don't like it, you can always change. Uh, we'll change the body text, the font to be Helvetica, the spacing, uh, into the paragraph spacing to be 10 pixels, the headings to be uh, uh, also the space between uh, headings, headings to total, be 6 so pixels. We're going to change all of them uh, into 6 pixels, the spaces between to be 6 pixels. I also finally change the image to be uh, the space to be 4 pixels. Then we go into the actual intro paragraph. For the introduction paragraph, you want to type in some random fact or event that has just happened so this is just a template you can obviously type what you are supposed to type and then i will just type a bunch of x's below it and because of the because the paragraph this is just an introduction paragraph you're not going to have any, any any um separate paragraphs in within this paragraph or there's not going to be a heading so you don't need to type enter afterwards and instead i just type a bunch of x's you can also just copy uh, one of those sample texts on the theme settings and next what you want to do is add uh in today's email so something like a break, break, breakdown of what is in today's email you want to forward slash and choose bulleted or numbered list and then you can type briefly what is going to be in today's email so you want to also highlight what you want to bold and bold the text for the paragraph for the introduction paragraph you can also make it to be justified or uh, centered and what you want to do next is to add a content break so you go back to the theme settings and change the content break the color to be light gray i do this uh, it is way better than yellow light gray uh, content break color and the style to be so the, st the style to be solid the thickness to be one the width to be 100 so it will go across the page and also space to be 10. Next will be the actual body paragraph. You want the uh, you want to first have a colored subheading. So the subheading will have the uh, size, the font size the same as the content um, and also the color will be the color that is the main theme color of your site. However, in here you see that what we are typing is not changing, like how the theme is going. Um, what we want to do is to click into preview to see actually how it will look in the product. And what is shown here is not how it will look in the end. So bear that in mind. Just remember to save what you have changed in the theme and that will be okay. So after you have uh, changed, uh, added a, a color subheading, you want to have an image. And you can again change the sizes of the image. And then next will be a larger heading that is more related to the content. So the first heading is like 
a colored heading that shows what category this piece that this piece fits into. Um, and then the larger heading will be the actual heading for your text. So the size will be 22 pixels bolded. And what you want to do is to remember that you can, um, when you are changing the heading, and after you other have than done using for its large heading slash the text type, so the actual forward text slash and the type uh, heading two or heading one, the same you can as just the highlight of the heading and paragraph that so H something like on top whatever of the random text that you bar just paste into it. Click H1 the text paste two, size, and the font bring, size should and it will be make your heading sixteen into pixels. Heading so one just heading like two. the so color like subheading, heading. you can do that. And after that, you will want to have a smaller heading. That smaller heading, you want it to be slightly larger than the con than the body text. So the body text is 16 pixels and this smaller heading, you want it to be 17 pixels. And then you will have the body text again. You can copy and paste uh, the number of headings that you want to have at least in each paragraph for your template, or you don't need to do that either. Uh, but you don't you can you can not do that as well because it is just a template remember to change all the font into helvetica or the same fonts that you want and then we can move on to the other section after adding the content breaks or the horizontal rule the other section would be like a trending section or a what's hot section what you want to do here after typing in the the title and also bolding it is to forward slash and click section you want to, this section, you can, again, t paste a text in there and it will look like this. Instead of just pasting the text, you can also forward slash click column and there will be two columns. One you can paste in a photo and the other one will be the text. You will also want to change the visual setting of this box. So you go into next to the plus button, those circles and click visual settings you can change the spacing i uh, change the spacing into 10 and 10. Uh, you can also change the border into radius 15 and thickness 05. you also want to change the background color into the color that you want and also with a border color that is slightly darker than the background color and also for the radius of the of the border the Greater the radius is, so 50 will be a lot rounder and 15 will be less round. So that is what radius is. The greater it is, the more circular it is. And the final thing that you can also add is a table of content. And what you want to do is to for a slash and click table of contents. Uh, it will appear automatically after you have done all the contents. Um, you can also do that beforehand, but afterwards you can see it that directly. And what you want to do is to click onto the six little dots next to the plus sign again and drag it up to below in today's mail email and it will be in there. You can also edit <clears throat> the contents of the table of contents. So uh, you can use either table of contents or what's in today's email, or you can use both as well. And this will be the email. Remember to change all the theme settings. To save all the changed theme settings, you can preview it, send a sample to, your, to yourself, save the template so the next time you can just open the template and use the template. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching.